my friends. So people tell me a lot that they really like it when I do this vibe. So I thought I would come here and show you how, since, you know, I'm a professional part-time. So um, enjoy. Okay, hi guys. So I have started off with newly washed hair, it's just dried. You can see that it's got a slight wave in it to start off with. Always comb your hair through first, make sure that there's no tangles in it because that is the last thing you want when you're trying to style your hair and you've got a heating uh, app appliance in your hand. Um, so then we're gonna separate our hair. That you've just got the bottom section out. You always wanna start at the bottom when you're doing anything with your hair because it just makes sense to start from the bottom and work up because then you're not going on top of yourself. So I forgot to turn my uh, GHD on, so it's on now I'm using the GHD Gold. I'm not sure if it's better than other models. It certainly slips through your hair pretty well, but I like a bit of resistance when I'm trying to do like curls and stuff. I'm not gonna use it to curl my hair or wave my hair today. I'm just gonna use it to, to straighten it in the first instance. So the look we're actually going for is a straight end waved look and I actually I, this is my cheating version of it because I don't end up curling the bottom bottom layer of my hair but I like to have the uh, the ends kind of straight and just have the wave in the hair I think it's a bit of more of a, a modern look than the big curls that you often see when my uh, computer is starting to overheat so let's hope you can't hear that so yeah, just go around my whole hair. The bits at the front are always the kind of little wispy bits, but I'm really particular about them being straight and not having any kind of weird bits. So just section it off bit by bit, work your way up to the top. You'll see that my top keeps slipping and my breast keeps threatening to come out. And also that's me turning around to tell Elvis to stop licking the carpet. Um, bless him. I tried to give him something to keep him quiet. And then once he finished, eating it he started licking the carpet so obviously this is slightly faster than uh, than I, I do it in real life it looks a bit brutal but I certainly don't whiz through my hair this quickly so when you get to the very top section make the sections a bit smaller and just go around make sure that you're happy with everything and that it's straight enough I mean it doesn't have to be straight 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 because obviously we're going to add a curl anyway but as long as it's straight enough to your satisfaction I, I used to always wear my hair straight it's how I liked it best and I don't know just think from the age of sort of 16 onwards just really liked having straight hair up until probably I was in my 30s and um, I, I that was when I first trained to be a hairdresser I just don't think I really knew how to properly curl my hair and have it look decent and not like I was a little girl with ringlets because nobody wants that let's face it so always make sure when I get to the top that I do the back section there's nothing worse than seeing the back of someone's hair and the front is straight and the back is a whole heap of mess so GHD's off this is it straight perfectly acceptable Could, I mean it needs a cut but I'm trying to get as feral as possible during lock-in and uh, yeah, straight hair, straight, straight, straight. It's fine. I mean, it's grown out so much. I over bleached it a couple of years back and it all broke off. That wasn't fun. So straight hair. Next thing we're gonna do is put a little wave in. So we're gonna section it off again. So we're just gonna section it slightly higher than we did for the straightening. So I go above the ears, kind of just around the, the, the top crown section, I suppose, really and then um, just pop that up into a butterfly clip. You see me pulling all sorts of faces in this. You don't realize what you're doing with your face while you're doing your hair, it's really strange. <laughs> so I'm using a wand, it's just an old Remington wand I think I got from Boots years and years ago, it's ceramic. Um, watch, your, watch your fingers because you're supposed to use it with a glove I think, that's just me testing it's warming up, it is. And then when you start with a curl, you want to start near the root, go around, don't go right to the end, but make sure you're doing the curl away from your face. So you can always come back and put a bit more of a curl in if you want to. My wand hadn't quite heated up properly at that point. So curl it away, but leave a good few inches out of the end for the kind of straight spiky woof, look. So again, just sped this up a bit. You don't need to watch me doing every last bit of my hair. And then when you get around to the other side, again, 
you curl it in the opposite direction as long as it's going away from your face. I struggle on this side. I know everyone always has a side that is easier than the other. Now this is my right hand that's doing the curling and I am right handed, but I always find this side a little bit more challenging. Not really too sure why. So once that's done, section the next bit off. And again, you literally just hold it for a few seconds. You don't want it to burn your hair. Don't want it to be set too high for your hair. Um, also, I would recommend using some sort of um, heat protection spray before you use any heat appliances on your hair. I don't do that, but you know, I'm an adult and I make my own decisions. So yeah, so you literally just let the hair drop off the, the iron. Don't brush it out. Don't stretch it out. You just leave it as is and let it cool down. And once you get to the top section, I've slowed this down a little bit now so you can see once you get to the top section, I always like to work from the back forwards, I just find it easier to see what I'm doing. So you're still curling away from your hair. I usually go a little bit further down my hair on the top section, so the end's still spiky, paintbrushy, straight, but I go a little bit further down. And then when I get to the very front front section, I start the curl a little bit further down the hair because I don't want it to be curled right up near my scalp at the front. I want it to come down a bit so it sits nicely at the front. Can you see? And then onto the other side. The other side's a bit more damaged because I used to wear my hair in a side part and that is the side that that part was. So there's not quite as much hair on this side. So I'm just going to make them tuck my boobs away again. I'm just going to make this side into sections that equal the other side. Curl it back again, going backwards away from your face. Oh, it's up to you. I messed that bit up, I had to redo it. It's up to you, you can do it going towards your face. I just don't like it personally. I like it to go backwards. And then I pull out any bits that don't look wavy enough and I go around them again. You can see the bottom section is really straight. And like I say, if I wasn't doing a quick look, I would probably curl that bit around a little bit more as well so you can once it's cooled down run your fingers through it just break up the sections a little bit and you can see that bit I thought was too curled so I just waved the wand at it a little bit while it was still hot to flatten it down I won't go into the science of why heat makes your hair do these things it's all about the bonds breaking the bonds reforming the bonds etc um, but yeah we just go around and pick out any bits. So there we go, that's it. It's going to cool down, it's going to probably drop quite a bit, but you can put some hairspray in to keep it as is. Run your fingers through again. Right now, I'm going to do a very quick makeup look, and I'm not an expert on filming videos as you can tell. I'm going to use a very basic look. Obviously, we're locked in, that's Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm going to put that on both eyes, tap it in gently, but again this looks brutal because it's sped up but you just tap 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 with your ring finger, make sure it goes in, put a second layer on, never used to need a second layer until they changed the formula and now I do, but I do recommend using a primer because I have very oily lids and otherwise it just slips around everywhere. So this is my Tartlet palette, it is clay eyeshadow, I got it in New York a million years ago I'm using the shade Super Mom and it is literally just a base so that again my eyeliner doesn't slip around everywhere once it goes on so it doesn't really show up but there we go this is Benefit's Roller Girl eyeliner it's like a felt tip pen it is a piece of piss to use now I realise you can't see what I'm doing now because I've hidden myself behind a mirror which unfortunately was just the angle that we got to now I wanted to leave it, even though it's sped up, I wanted to leave it in so you can see how long it takes me and how much I piss about with doing, because everyone always goes, oh my god, your eyeliner is amazing, well, it takes me fucking ages to get it done. So yeah, here we go, and it goes, and also being in my 40s now, I do have more crepey skin, so it, it is much, much harder to get a really good line on your eyeliner, and then I always recommend looking directly into a mirror, holding it up, looking directly into it to make sure you're level on both sides. I've got a droopy eyelid so one eye I have to do a slightly thicker line on but it's fine. So there we go, eyeliner done. Yep, yeah, it'll do, it'll do. 
Guess I'm out of my hair a bit more. This is the Urban Decay Troublemaker. It's a sample size, it's a gift from a friend. I do like Urban Decay makeup, it's all vegan. I believe it's all vegan. Um, I'm also a huge fan of Kat Von D, if we look talking about vegan brands. So yeah, hair down, makeup done, not putting anything on my face, no point, not going anywhere. Just a little bit of air, tuck that boob away again. Thanks for watching.